Welcome to ICA's video channel, taking the message of Jesus Christ to the world. For more information, go to our website at icahk.org. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I like that. You know, she said, you have the power to change someone's day. So can you smile to the person next to you right now? Big smile. If you know them pretty well, give them a hug, okay? Being kind, be kind. Today, the topic is kindness, okay? Children, I know you have this, so we're going to go through this, and then I'll drop down some notes as I go, okay? Luke chapter 6, 31 to 36. We're going to talk about kindness, and we're going to look at Luke chapter 6. It's going to show up on your screen, and I will read it to you. Verse 31. And as you wish that others would do to you, do so to them. If you love those who love you, what benefit is that to you? For even sinners love those who love them. And if you do good to those who do good to you, what benefit is that to you? For even sinners do the same. And if you lend to those from whom you expect to receive, what credit is that to you? Even sinners lend to sinners to get back the same amount. Verse 35, but love your enemies and do good and lend expecting nothing in return, and your reward will be great, and you will be sons of the Most High, for he is kind to the ungrateful and the evil. Be merciful even as your Father is merciful. Why kindness? I think a lot of us, we wouldn't disagree. Christians, non-Christians alike, we know that the value of kindness, the virtue of kindness, is something we should embrace, right? Universally, we talk about being kind. Everyone thinks it's good. But you know that too. Being kind is not as easy as we think or as easy as we would like it to be. Why? Because our human nature, we are selfish. We are selfish by human nature. So to show kindness is actually unnatural. Because in the flesh, we want to protect ourselves. We want to protect our own interests. So instead of doing do to others as you want them to do to you, the golden rule, right? Do to others as you want them to do to you. Instead of doing that, we do to others as others have done to us. That's the reality sometimes, isn't it? Because if we think, if it's been unfair to me, I should make it unfair for you. If you scratch my back, I'll scratch your back. If I'm hurt, you should hurt too. And sometimes we find it hard to be kind when we are frustrated, when we're angry, when we are annoyed, when we are busy. Actually, just a few weeks ago, there's a South China Morning Post. It had an article. The title was, Are You Too Busy to Be Kind? And it's true, because in the kingdom of this world, we live in this all-you-can-grab, all-for-me kind of mentality. Uh, it's competitive. This can be a very harsh world. So being kind is often a value we compromise or we just put it aside. Because sometimes we think being kind, we might be taken advantage of. Or they sit there. We think we get ripped off. We think that, you know, other people will get the promotion and not me. Other kids will get the good grades and not me. Because by being kind, I might get being taken advantage of. We get trampled on. And sometimes we are not only afraid of being kind, sometimes we think being right is more important than being kind. Spouses, sometimes we do that too, right? We want to prove our point. So sometimes we behave nasty. Sometimes we are unkind to other people just because we think we are right. We think being right is more important than being right, uh, being kind. And we know in John chapter 8, right, the woman who was caught in adultery, the religious leaders demanded judgment. Yes, she was completely wrong. She was caught in the act, and they demanded judgment. But what did Jesus do? Jesus had mercy on her. So sometimes we think being right is more important than being kind. And sometimes we think being popular is more important than being kind. Is that right, children? You know, when I was nine years old, I was, um, I, I migrate, we, my whole family, we migrated to Australia. So I didn't know a word of English. 
I was really bad, you know, I didn't know the language at all. So we move into this new school, a nine-year-old me, okay, about fourth grade. And we move into this new school, and I didn't know anyone. And I didn't know what they were talking about. I didn't know how to relate. I was different. There weren't many Asians back then. And so our, the teacher was kind enough. She, he sat me down. I even still remember his name. He got me paired up with another Asian girl who spoke perfect English because she grew up there, to sit with me so that she can show me the way around, she can teach me, you know, teach me when I'm behind. And so, you know, he thought that was a good deal. But you know what? That girl didn't think it was a good deal. I sat with her, and you know what? She didn't talk to me. She didn't show me around. She just left me all alone forever. Uh, she, she didn't even talk to me. And you know why? Because she thought it was so unfair that she had to be made to sit with me instead of her best friend, who was the most popular girl at school. And so, you know what? I remember feeling so afraid because I was in this new environment. I remember feeling so ashamed because I didn't have any friends. And I even remember feeling guilty because I made her, she had to sit with me. And, and you know what? And as I grew older, I had my own little circle of friends. And you know what? I did the same thing to the new kids in the school. Isn't that terrible? Do to others as they have done to you. That's the way of this world. And you know what? There's still a lot of that going around right now. There's a lot of, you know, verbal slashing. There's a lot of, you know, abuses. People not only with actions or words, but you know what? We can have deadly looks, right? You know, my kids always remind me. You know, I can hold, I can hold my words. I can contain myself, but sometimes with my looks. Because my, my, my daughters, they always remind me, hey, mommy, don't look like that. We can be unkind even with our looks. You know, this world, if without kindness, we can easily fall into the trap of being something sarcastic, cynical, critical, and judgmental. And all these are selfish attitudes. And you know, kindness is important because all these kind of selfish, you know, destructive attitudes is showing up around the world. There's a lot of disrespect. There's a lot of, I don't know, just anger. I don't know, who, any one of you have seen people arguing while waiting for the ATM? Any hands? I'm sure all of you have, right? There's just so many angry people around now. There's a lot of anger, there's a lot of impatience, there's a lot of selfishness. And we shouldn't be surprised because it's the kingdom of this world. But you know what? I thank God and I praise God that we have a loving, kind, compassionate, and patient father. Amen? In Exodus 34, 6, it says, Our God, he's merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love and faithfulness. You know, in the Old Testament, the word kindness, it often refers to the loving kindness of God. But you know, in the New Testament, it, 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 it's not only about the loving kindness of God. It has to do with human relationships. Kindness has to be done to one another with human beings, not just with pets, okay? I know a lot of people are kind to pets, but they don't know how to relate to a human being. But kindness in the New Testament is about brotherly love, showing kindness to people, man to man. And it's also, the word means goodness in action. So kindness is something that you do. It leads to action. In verse 31, we read that just now. As you wish that others would do to you, do so to them. Do to others as you want them to do to you. That's why we call it acts of kindness, not acts of niceness or acts of pleasantness. It's acts of kindness and action. We are kind because God is kind. Amen? And how do we know God is kind? Because God is kind to us. God is kind to us. All that he does, all that he has done, was to show his loving kindness towards us. And how do we know God is kind? It's all in the Bible. It's all in the Bible. The Bible tells us that when we were still sinners, he sent his son to take up our sins and die on the cross. That's kindness. Jesus freed us from the penalty of sin 
so that we don't need to be enslaved and in bondage anymore. We hope you enjoy the sermon preview. The full-length sermon video is available on audio podcast at our website www.icahk.org or purchase a copy at our online shop.